is the bike. It's a speed twin collaboration with Brightlink. First ever Bonneville T120. I love that colour scheme. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Right, two days after getting back to England, I got an email from Brightling saying, Freddie, would you like to come with us and fly by helicopter from Battersea Helipad in London to the Triumph HQ in Hinkley for the launch of a brand new collaboration, Breitling and Triumph. There's going to be, I think, a special edition motorbike and a special edition line of Breitling Triumph watches. How could I refuse? So I'm just waiting now. I've got 15 minutes until the taxi comes that will drive me to Battersea in London, where there'll be a helicopter waiting to take me, and I'm sure a few others, to Triumph HQ in Hinkley. I think I'll get to see the launch. I'll also may be able to show you a bit of the Triumph HQ. I'll do my best to show you as much as possible. and we're in perfect timing about 20 minutes or so reminds me of what traffic in London's like but this is the the little waiting room area that we're in right now it's all extremely nice so I don't know which one I was going to be but the heliport is literally just right here and in the background you can see River Thames Battersea Power Station we've just gone past We've landed and this is an absolute first for me at the Triumph factory experience. This is Triumph HQ here. So we're right at the entrance. I'll flip the camera and show you what it looks like at Triumph's headquarters. So there you can see the big entrance at the front there, celebrating one million motorcycles with Triumph. Got a Suzuki and another Suzuki there, but here we go. Bit of normality. You've got a T100 parked up there with an old school rocket. And this is the Triumph factory visitor experience and I'm about to go and I can see people having coffee a bit of food and stuff like that so I'm going to go in see what's going on in here and see who's about 
So this is where the, the big reveal will be, I'm sure, in a little bit here. I don't know if they'll be bringing a bike or watch or both, but that's where it'll be. And here, here's where everyone's just doing a bit of mingling. This is the bike, it's a Speed Twin collaboration with Breitling. A whole load of special touches. This is, I think, 16,000 and something pounds, and the watch itself is four and a half thousand, but loads of special features such as the Olin shocks, that incredible looking tank, a really amazing looking tank. You've also got, you've also got beautiful mirrors bar and mirrors as well and just the overall look of it is really really stunning got these speed twins i always forget how nice they are until i actually see them in the flesh they are very very good looking bikes so the the big reveal has just happened there we can see everyone still looking around the bike and now there are a few people over here just getting some some coffee, some sandwiches and things like that. But this is what a reveal event looks like. You've also got the TV crew over there as well who have been filming away. Coffee shop there which is closed for the moment, but that's it there. That's everyone getting their photos taken and admiring the bike. Rough prices, I think, of the bike. I think it's sixteen and a half thousand pounds, and the watch I think is about four and a half thousand. You can actually get your watch personalised along with the along with the bike. So, for example, if you buy a number, I think one hundred and sixty, then you can get one hundred and sixty engraved on the bike, as well as the watch and whatever number you buy, you can just engrave it for that specific model of watch and bike. So it's a really, really personal thing. And there's actually another one right next to me. The one out there is number three of 272 that they'll be making and selling worldwide. So it's quite warm in there. I've just come outside for a bit of fresh air. I asked if I can do the filming inside the Triumph Factory experience, which I think we're doing in a little, in, in a little bit, but not allowed to unfortunately so this will be probably the closest I can get you that's the entrance there as far as I know to the Triumph Factory experience we've got a whole load of Triumphs lined up Speed Triple, Tigers, 1200XC and all of those right there but I won't be able to show you so in about 20 minutes it will be my turn to go and have a look and try on the watch and then We'll be heading over for lunch and I think then the factory experience after that. Apparently I've just heard that we're all getting a Breitling watch. Everyone who's been here as a thank you for coming. That's a joke. Always nice to dream though, but what a great day it is to be finally, for the first time ever, I can't believe it, the factory visitor experience. Oh, there we go. At Triumph, it will be the first time I've ever been there. We've just finished from the Triumph Factory experience and I highly, highly recommend it. So I asked, I wasn't allowed to film in there, but they show you pretty much the entire production run. And I think something like at the moment, maybe 6.5% of all Triumph motorbikes are actually built here in Hinkley. But they are planning to actually increase that over time. So I think all of the TFCs, the Triumph Factory customs are built here, all of the research and development is done right here in Hinkley and they've got 650 staff right here 
And interestingly, 300 of those 650 staff, they actually work behind a huge black wall, which is, I think, called something like Area 51, they call it. And that's where they do all of the R&D. We can't see anything at all, but it's an incredibly good experience. You can see the people actually pinstriping all of the tanks. Huge amount of work, hands-on work, still happens here, and it's a brilliant experience. And you also see the owner, John Bloor's motorbike collection. It's still a family-run business, 100% family-run, and all of his triumphs and things are laid out there, and they show you all around them. You've got James Bond's bikes, the bikes from the James Bond movies there. You've got, uh, you've got race-winning bikes. You've got a whole load of old historic bikes and things like that. It is a really good experience. And right now, actually I've got some really interesting stuff with Steve McQueen here. Right now we're in the museum section of the Triumph customer experience and I am allowed to film here so I'll show you what we've got. Old Triumph there and then so that's the entrance there where we all came in. Old Triumph here and this is the again the Speed Twin with Breitling collaboration right here. I'll see if I can see what number that is. You can see here the Breitling sign there and well, that says 000 of 270. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Where do I start? I'll go this way. So this gives a complete history of Triumph. All the way from 1902. And we can just, oh, it's, this is brilliant. Okay, so 1902 going to 19... 1916 Model H. This is where I start to really like the different models of Triumph. This is a very, very special one with that headlamp. It's brilliant. And then they've got all of the history up here. 1927. And this is a 1958. Oh, this is the first ever Bonneville T120 and I love that color scheme very nice bike and these I don't think I've ever seen one of these that is borderline weird with the entire tool set underneath the seat massive massive rear mudguard that is the it says a 19 1958 T120 as well carrying on through there that one X75 very interesting looking bike that to the Sport 1000 Daytona Speed Triple, that will be Mark 1 Speed Triple. 1994 Daytona, some very nice 1950s Grand Prix bikes, those ones. And I'll come around here, carry on to the Triumph 500s. Daytona, that looks like early 90s, 1995. Coming around to more Daytonas here, onto the race bikes and through to there's a steve mcqueen section here which looks quite interesting ah this i've never seen one in the flesh steve mcqueen limited edition scrambler this is oh this is from guy martin's great escape this one so that will be modified from standard and wow what's this <sighs> wow original Original Great Escape TR6 Trophy. Ridden by Steve McQueen. Wow, wonder if this is one of the ones that's actually ridden, or the one ridden by Steve McQueen. That's, that's incredible. Uh, carry on, Scrambler 1200 there, some heavily modified Speed Triple there. And on this side, you've got an old Speed Triple and uh, what, early 2000s, 2009 Scrambler. And we've just finished the day at Triumph and I thought I'd get a picture of everyone, everyone photographing the bike right in front of the helicopter. So that is pretty much, that's a good chunk of people that have been here all day. The sun's come out, blue sky and everyone's there photographing the beautiful Triumph with the Breitling helicopter behind it. It's like the sun's come out on purpose, just setting behind Triumph HQ in front of us there with the silhouette of the helicopter. What a great way to end the day.
And of course, I'll have a look in a sec. The bike itself. There you go. This here is Grant, and he actually works for Triumph as an official photographer. So I think he'll be setting it up. got back it's 8 45 and there were just so many interesting people not only in the biking industry but also kind of affiliated and associated with watches as well everyone in the Breitling team absolutely fascinating speaking to all of the people there we actually flew back in a convoy of three helicopters all the way back into London and straight into London over the Battersea power station we saw all of the landmarks unforgettable experience. I did also remember one thing that I, I should have said earlier. That is that at Triumph, if you serve 25 years, if you work for 25 years at Triumph, they give you as a reward a Rolex. Although I've got a feeling that that may actually change to a Breitling, but still, it's just amazing. So basically you go around the, the visitor experience, the factory experience, and you see the people, for example, doing the pinstriping or doing the spray painting or other things that they do there. And every so often you'll just see one of the older members of staff in a, a gold Rolex. Look out for that if you go and do the factory visitor experience, which I very, very highly recommend. Have a look out and look at the people's, the workers' wrists, because they genuinely do actually wear the Rolexes that they've been gifted. But enough about Rolex. Thank you so much to Triumph and to Breitling for just putting on this incredible day and inviting me, being good enough to invite me on this incredible day. I'll never forget it. Uh, hugely appreciative. I hope you all enjoyed coming along with me today. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.